elections have consequences. Our fellow Americans use their vote to choose who will work for them. So I ask you all a simple question, especially to my colleagues. Is that what is happening here today? Unfortunately, we've seen since the day that President Trump was inaugurated, there have been some people that made it public that they wanted to impeach him. We were so hurried to impeach this president, we don't really give a darn about the rules. Not because they're high crimes and misdemeanors, which is the constitutional standard, but just because they don't agree with the results of the 2016 election. For the last three years, they have predetermined the president's guilt. They have never accepted the voter's choice to make him president. So for 37 days and counting, they have run an unprecedented, undemocratic, and unfair investigation. This resolution, in multiple places, it gives veto authority by the chair to literally reject any witness that's brought forward by the minority. So no rights for the minority unless the chair so designates. In fact, in this resolution, it allows the chair to veto even the ability for the president to have legal counsel in the room. If the chair chooses at his whim, they can literally kick out the president's legal counsel. This is unprecedented. It's not only unprecedented, this is Soviet-style rules. This resolution today only makes it worse. I've heard members on the other side say they promise rights to the president, but only if he does what they want. That's the equivalent of saying in the First Amendment, you have the right to the freedom of speech, but you can only say the words I agree with. That's what you call due process. And I've heard a lot of discussion today about maybe we didn't know how to properly ask last night in the Rules Committee. I'll guarantee you my staff and I know how to properly use Rule 11 2E to ask for information. And we're told yesterday by a committee, one of the committees, that we couldn't have access to it because the parliamentarian said we couldn't. That's just false and needs to stop. That exact same speaker that talked about cooperation, that talked about and promised the American people that they would be different. They would be different if you trusted you with the majority. You have failed in that promise. This House is developing and shredding procedures every day. And if members of the minority or the majority cannot have the rights that they are given, then we're in a sad situation. I guess it's only fitting you take this vote on Halloween. I yield back. Mem